Alright, hello everybody, welcome back. Let's get started with one of those bad boys right there. So, I have something new, exciting, and special for you today. I have the Spade. This is a brand new headless guitar made by Bootlegger Guitars. And you want to see something really cool? Where is it? They sent me a flask. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of swag before, but I never got a flask. How cool is that? Um, so, Bootlegger did send this over for me to check out, which I'm very thankful for, so thank you for that. And uh, let me just share with you what we have going on over here. So this is um, the Bootlegger Spade 2. I have it in a strap right now, and you could see it falls very nicely, but they have this contour, so if I didn't have a strap, it's perfect. It's literally perfect, especially for me. I. You know, some people play the guitar like this. However you play it, you know, you could kind of see how it slides on your leg. For me, you have an armrest. It just, that's perfect. But I happen to have it in a strap and it just works. In fact, you have this little cutout. So if you were sitting like that, it still just works. So whether you play like this or you play like that, I think you're all set. Um, so let me tell you what's going on over here. This is a Korean-made guitar, okay, South Korea, and we know good guitars come out of South Korea. Interestingly enough, it's not where you would expect. It's not World Music Factory. Uh, it's the Muse Factory in South Korea, which is exciting because a lot of the stuff that comes out of World feels all kind of feels the same because it's the same cooks in the kitchen, so to speak. So you're getting something different here, but same quality, same craftsmanship, okay? If I flip that around, you could see, and I think you could see that, it's a three-piece maple neck. Now, there you go. If I move the light around, you could see it's a three-piece maple neck, uh, and it's a neck through. So this goes all the way to the top, and as I spin it, you could see the line there. Um, three-piece maple neck, okay? It has wings. This is ash, okay? And... You could see the same thing, that's the neck. So it's a full neck through, um, which is nice, okay? Uh, compared to the old version, this is brand new. It's new tuners and a new headstock and they make this for bootlegger, okay? So this was made for bootlegger. Each of these, these are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are six independently placed saddles, okay? and you have these knobs here, so you could just tune like you would tune any old guitar. So you put the ball end through here, and then you come through here, you string it through, and you snap it off right at the tip of the headstock. So regular strings, nothing fancy, and um, all of the tuning is done right over here, and then of course you have some Allen key adjustments for the height and for the intonation down below. I love that they call this the tattoo, not the logo. It's the tattoo. It's the bootlegger whiskey tattoo, which is very cool. Volume tone, three-way, and the fretboard, which is really nice. The fretboard is called Jatoba. Jatoba. I never heard of Jatoba before, but it's just got such a nice grain to it. As I spin that around, you could kind of see the grain. It's a very grainy, but interestingly enough, you see the grain, but it is very smooth. It's like a highly polished um, grain there. So the body is ashwood, 42 millimeters on the body. The finish, they call this honey. A lot of people ask the neck profile on here. It's actually an oval profile. The neck profile is an oval. Kind of feels rounded to me. It's actually got some chunk behind it, which is nice. It's not Ibanez thin, but it's not baseball bat thick. It's, it's I mean, you could see it's, you know, just works. It's a full 24 fret, and it's a full scale. It's 25 and a, and a half inch scale length. So full scale guitar. The nut is graphite. There is, this is a dual truss rod design. So all the hardware is black. This is black aluminum, okay? Uh, black aluminum knobs. And again, uh, two humbuckers, volume tone, three way. All black hardware, even the black input jack right back over here. A lot of people ask about the pickups. They are Alnico humbucker pickups that we have going on in here. And the guitar itself weighs five pounds. What's more exciting than the guitar is actually the case. So let me get the case so I could show you what's going on there. So here's the case. It comes with the nice 
spade bootlegger tattoo. I love that. It's all hard shell. It is very lightweight as well. It has the molding on both corners. They also have Tolex inside, which is pretty cool. Never really saw a case that had like this aluminum molding that goes all the way around, which is very cool. Helps support the case. And if we pop this bad boy open, you could see it is a very straightforward case. I'm gonna put the guitar in the case so you could see what's going on once I have it in the case. I'll spin that around and there you have it. So just a really nice fit, uh, you know, form fit uh, case that travels well. So nice hard shell case for your guitar. And if a hard shell case is too big, if you want to travel guitar and a hard shell case is too big, this, I'm sure you could find something that would fit that, but this comes with the guitar, okay? So really nice thing. This is roughly a $500 price point guitar. So I don't, I don't think, you know, anytime I do a video and I try to bring something to you, I genuinely want to be excited about it. And when Bootlegger had reached out and showed me the guitar and I looked it up in the spec, compared to what a lot of headless guitars cost, you know, this, there's a lot going on with this guitar that, you know, made me want to do the video and share that with you. So with that said, let me give you a few more licks and riffs and then we'll wrap this video up. Here's the neck pickup. <laughs> So nice sustain, very swollen sounding. Let's go back to the bridge and then I'll give you some clean. I was using the Saldano. That's a one channel amp. Basically gonna roll off the preamp a little bit, clean it up, and let's hear how that sounds. Hope you enjoyed this video this here again is the bootlegger this is the spade 2 i hope you enjoyed this video thumbs up if you dig it subscribe if you want to see more like it and leave your comment below let me know what you think thank you for watching i'll leave you all off with one of those bad boys right there i'll see you later